just resumes in a portal like nokri.com or monster.com is not going to cut it what is required then a profile a data science profile now how do you make a data science profile is the biggest question there are multiple stages to it and there is no linear path to it however there is a small framework that i'm going to share with you that is help you that's going to help you stand out from all the other data science aspirants and create a stellar profile that is going to not only help you be confident but also crack interviews in a much more efficient manner are you ready to make a awesome data science profile if your answer is yes then continue watching this video hey guys my name is kunal naik i am the founder of data science mastermind and i am on a mission to help 1 million data science aspirants non programmers data analysts to learn and grow in their career using data science so if you are one of those people that wants to get into data science please do subscribe to my channel and hit the like button so that youtube gets to know that this is an awesome video and gets to reach the 1 million people that i am looking for now let's get started with how to build a data science profile now at the base one of the most important things that you will ever require is projects no matter how much theory you learn how much of tools you know it all comes together if you have projects in your profile now the projects can be of any nature maybe a dashboard maybe an application maybe a solved machine learning problem or let's say a presentation or a ppt or simply a r shiny dashboard any of these can be a project now instead of having multiple projects you can have projects that have a lot of depth now in reality you know you when you're working in data science you work on a project for let's say 3 months 6 months or 1 year unless you are in an organization that makes pocs proof of concepts you you are most likely end, going to end up working on a project that is on a long term basis and sometimes some of the projects go even 2 years or 3 years also long, long right until it be, it's all completely deployed onto the production so you're better off doing one project two project in depth than doing so many projects okay so that is one of the uh, critical aspects of it go deep and do few projects in this particular uh, category okay next ensure that the project belongs to a certain industry and function in that particular case now why is this relevant when you are applying to a certain company for a particular role they definitely want to know how much of domain experience you have and so you will see that of all of these things right for example if you are in the e-commerce industry you can do let's say digital marketing digital marketing and if you solve problems by keeping this industry and function in mind you will notice that your chances of solving a certain problem and your resume getting accepted for an interview will go up so that's the first level guys where you work on projects in depth and by choosing a industry or a function once you've done a project right it will be there present only on your rocket system and so it will definitely not be helpful or will not have any proof to your recruiters that you have done that particular project and so where do you store it you store the projects on github now what is github github is a place where software developers store their codes and use it to deploy apps and this is going to become an essential part of data science moving forward and so those who are from the software engineering background you know you have been using some tool like this to store your codes and maintain it and you know merge all the collaborative work however in data science this is also starting to get adopted 
primarily because we are this becomes a place where you can launch apps and do some continuous integration and continu continuous development and so githubs becomes essential for storing your projects now once you store the projects on github immediately this becomes shareable you can share this link within your resume and a recruiter can click on that link come to the project and see what's happening there so this is one of the next stage where your project is completed however now you you're sort of getting it to the world and the primary step would be definitely store, to store it on github before you can store it on any other profile now once you have built your collection of projects on github it's ready to move on or progress to some other platforms and one such platform is kaggle now kaggle is the social media network for data scientists and a lot of people hang out here and it's recognized worldwide and so this provides a cloud this provides a cloud platform for you to execute for running projects right not only that there are some competitions and some collaborations which help you to learn effectively and discuss your issues and bottlenecks with other data scientists or other data science aspirants and the more you build a repo in this particular platform the more chances you can show off those medals on that platform and uh, get your chances much more better to get hired next now once you have this kaggle platform so you've definitely started by creating projects storing them on github and then also finding more and more competitions to participate and learn from others and learning some techniques on kaggle and also at the same time building profiles now this is a a, a good testing place guys this is a place where you get to test all of your skills and at the same time learn now the next step projects github and kaggle are the foundations on which your data science profile will be built now the next thing that you need to do is ensure that you are communicating this to the world that hey i have done this project and this these are places that my project exist and so next part is building a linkedin profile to showcase your work and participate now what do i do in the linkedin profile what 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 is required in this particular place right so the first aspect that you want to look at in a, in a linkedin profile is just as soon as somebody lands on your profile you will see that you have your dp your name your banner your title and some other details that are there on the first snapshot of your github profile and so these becomes essential with the most important part being the title which shows which shows it should be showing it should be basically showing what domain or industry you're going to be working for only then is your chances to get hired much more higher because people are not going to be looking for machine learning engineer for uh, a generic uh, you know industry they they will definitely be looking for hey can somebody solve my supply chain demand forecasting problem or can somebody help me target customers on a digital platform through emails for my e-commerce customers right so there are specific problems that they require solution to and so by mentioning your industry and function your chances to get higher or get selected for that particular job is higher so build your linkedin profile and the second aspect of being on a linkedin profile is engaging right you want to get some you want to get some and and engagement 
or create posts. Now this sort of helps you increase your reach and build your network so that you get found by your potential recruiters. And that's going to be the essential step to build your, uh, you know, showcase your LinkedIn profile. Now, once you have done all of this, what is the next step that is going to help you get hired? And this is, that has nothing to do with your profile and everything to do with how you speak and how you show your confidence. That's only going to come only when you start applying for jobs every week and start attending interviews, irrespective of whether you know that skill or you do not know the skill. The ability to continuously apply for jobs is going to help you stand out and ensure that the supporting layers are going to help you build your profile even stronger. So by this time, you want to apply for at least three jobs per week. This is going to be the crucial ship or the differentiator that is going to make you stand out and ensure that your profile is strong and you know it sort of gets accepted multiple times for different interviews. However, there is one little thing that is that that this particular step is going to be important to vote about is that once you start doing this right, you make improvements with every interview. Okay, with I'm just going to say yeah, so with every improve interview, you do make improvements and create a log a log of interview now where do, what do you what do you store in this we're going to store the following in that log sheet the log sheet let's say we're going to be storing a certain aspects and that is going to be the company name when did you attend it? That is date and time because time is essential for basically attending interviews, right? The first thing in the morning, you're sharp, you're focused. Even they are sharp and they're focused. They have not gone through a lot of things within the day. And so the acceptability will be a little higher, right? If you're getting a morning time or evening time for interviews, then you can also store the industry and function the reason this is important is that if you're doing uh, targeting the similar industry and function for a certain set of jobs then you're going to be more comfortable with each interview however if you're changing between industries and functions then you will see that you will ha you'll sort of start doubting yourself that whether you can make it or not because you know, each industry will have something out of the syllabus that you may not know. But with deep focus on industry and function, you're going to know a lot more with each interview. Then within the log, you can also add what worked and what did not work. Right. And so this is basically your chance to improve improve what can happen there right so in this way you're sure to sort of understand this entire process and if you continue doing this right your chances to get hired will be much more higher and also you will definitely be backed up by a strong 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 data science profile Okay, so there you go, guys. Now you have a way to make strong profile and sort of, you know, now the trick of what re is required to get into a job. Now, one more crucial aspect is how should a GitHub be prof profile be looking like? Because you can do projects in GitHub, but how do you place it and how, how should your GitHub profile and how should your gaggle be looking like? All of these are separate context. 
However, I'm just going to give you one simple concept on GitHub and leave you pondering over how you can start doing it for yourself. So to build a GitHub profile, you will require a certain aspects. That is, you'll have to have a readme file of this particular nature here. This is essential. This informs recruiters about your resume. And this is basically your online resume, right? So if they inform you, so it will give you about, about me, the, the crucial links, right? Where you worked and a bit of your personality, any blog links if you have and the, the industry or domain, right? So you need to mention your industry and domain that you are doing projects on, right? And then the last aspect is uh, basically, this is your projects, right? Uh, it, in, in GitHub, it's called repositories. Okay, so repo, repositories. And so you need to store them. And in this particular place, have all the projects that are relevant to this particular industry. You can put six of them here, six projects. So minimum six projects to ensure that your GitHub profile is complete. Also here is uh, your aspirational about statement, which is crucial. Definitely have a proper DP and mention all the links that is possible and continue to build on this. Here you see that, you know, wherever there is momentum or commits, you will see that there is a brown thing. And so continue to build on that. That shows recruiters that you're an act active developer or coder or sol solver uh, that's working out, right? So. This is the st start point, guys. Uh, it takes a lot of energy to even get to this place. And so I wanted to work on it and, and keep this particular frame of framework in mind, know where you are and then start building from that particular place. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Let me know what you think about the data science profile or if you have any other tricks that has worked for you that can help others please mention that in the comment section below. Also, whatever issues or doubts or barriers you are facing of building your data science profile, mention them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them and help you build your awesome data science profile that will effectively get you the next job or the dream job. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and do sub don't forget to subscribe to my channel also share this link with your friends or any other colleagues that need to see this and are wanting to get into data science